2017 Masters predictions. Let's get out of bounds. Hey everybody, this is Bear and this is Degenerate Golf Club. Thought it'd be fun to take a look at some predictions for this year's 2017 Masters Tournament. What I'm gonna do today is pick five players that I would put against the field in the top 50, top 30, top 10, my sleepers for the 2017 Masters Tournament, including my surprise cuts and any potential surprise storylines we might see play out in the coming two weeks. So let's get started. So from the top 50, I think we need to keep an eye on Emiliano Grillo from Argentina and prior Masters winner Zach Johnson. I like Emiliano Grillo in this group of players. In the top 30, you've got Captain America Patrick Reed, Mr. Consistency Matt Kuchar, the Spaniard John Rahm, and everybody's talking about this kid Matthew Fitzpatrick from England. Fitzpatrick has had a good year on the Euro Tour. He had a good showing last year at last year's Ryder Cup. We're not going to get an Englishman two years in the running. If you take a look at Captain America Patrick Reed, I don't think he has shown that he's ready for the individual spotlight just yet. So I think who emerges from this category is the Spaniard John Rahm, who's got a very powerful and consistent game and has had great results last year and this year. So that brings us to the top 10 where where obviously all the talent lies on the PGA and the Euro Tour. But honestly, I think there's only four people we need to watch from this category. Dustin Johnson, Sergio Garcia, Henrik Stenson, and Justin Thomas. Personally, I would love to see Sergio Garcia win a major. I think he is at a nice, comfortable place in his life where maybe he's not worried so much about that monkey being on his back. He's also had a resurgence in his game as of late, uh, having a win on the Euro Tour already this year. But personally, I love Dustin Johnson. I love DJ coming out of the top 10. If there's any year that he's gonna be able to win it, it will be this year. He has seen a 180 degree turnaround in his short game from scoring to wedge play to putting. Uh, where he used to be able to power courses. Now he really can finesse courses, which is what you need at Augusta. So let's talk about my sleepers. You cannot count out Phil Mickelson. Based on his age, you have to look at him as a sleeper for every tournament he's in, especially when you're talking about majors. Now I know he's reverted back to his old driver difficulties, but this is Augusta, this is Phil Mickelson. I don't think you can count him out. Not only do I think Phil Mickelson will have a good week, I think he's gonna put himself in contention in Saturday before probably falling off on Sunday. So what do I think are gonna be the surprise stories coming out of Augusta this year? First of all, miss the cut, Danny Willett. I think Danny Willett is a one-hit wonder. I don't think he's got it in him to win another Masters. I think he'll do great on the Euro Tour. Honestly, I think Danny Willett is a one-hit wonder and will we'll end his career with one major only. Ricky Fowler misses the cut. I understand Ricky's having a good year, started to capitalize on his weekend positions, but I don't think Ricky makes it to the cut at this year's Masters. Bernard Langer, that guy has been killing it on the senior tour. He absolutely dominated last year. I think he carries that over, finds himself in the weekend this year, he makes the cut. Now we can't talk about the Masters without talking about the big cat. People are holding on to hope that Tiger Woods is somehow getting himself in shape and getting ready so he can have his coming out party version 4.0 here at the Masters. As much as I too would love to see that, I don't think that's the case. I think Tiger seriously is putting himself through the paces to see if he can physically still compete at this level. So that gives us Mickelson, Griot, Rom, and Dustin Johnson. So who's my fifth? I'm gonna hedge my bets here. I gotta pull it out of the top 10. I think Justin Thomas is prized for a Jordan Spieth type year. He obviously already has the wins to back it up. Now can he put the majors in place? I believe he is gonna win a major this year. So that's my five against the field. Mickelson, Griot, Rom, Dustin Johnson, and Justin Thomas. I think it's gonna come down to Dustin Johnson and Justin Thomas, and honestly, because I think he's poised to take a major sometime this year, I'm gonna to have to go with Justin Thomas. The kid is just dominating on tour this year. He is primed for a Jordan Spieth type year. I don't think you can bet against 2017 Masters Champion, Justin Thomas. This is Bear, this is Degenerate Golf. Thanks for watching.